Hey guys, Rob Avis here. I'm just standing in front of one of the creeks on our property. And this is a really exciting time of year for us. It's the first spring we've been on the property. And um, we knew that there was a couple of beavers upstream. And it looked like, well, it didn't look like, a couple, our dog brought a couple beaver tails back to us. And so we thought maybe we had lost our beavers. And we weren't really sure what was going on. The other thing that happened is we had a really big flood event and a couple of their dams upstream blew out. So again, we weren't really new, sure what was going on from beaver activity perspective. But just over there, there's a little beaver path. Um, and looks like they're fixing up one of the old beaver dams uh, that was here a long time ago. And, and ironically, there's actually some pipe here from former beaver deceivers that were installed by the previous owner. And it looks like they might actually end up being beaver deceivers again. We'll see how the beavers manage that. But it is pretty clear that they're starting to repair this pond. Now what's really exciting about that is that the creek level is pretty low in the ground. It's incised, which has exposed a lot of the, the banks, which means that a lot of the water harvesting potential in this flat area is not occurring because that's our new puppy. She's she's pretty excited about the beavers as well. Hey. Anyhow, um, as the level comes up, that water is going to move laterally through the floodplain. It's going to reduce or prevent the erosion from occurring, and our floodplain is going to charge. Now it turns out that I think the number I'd have to check this out in uh, Eager, which is a book on beavers I just read. But I believe only 60% of the water that hits a beaver dam actually leaves the other side. That doesn't mean the water just kind of disappears and goes uh, into thin air. It means that it's actually infiltrating into the ecosystem around it. And this is why Dr. Glennis Hood has shown that beaver dams increase background biodiversity level by up to 27 times. So aquatic ecosystems are more productive than terrestrial ones. So a lot of farmers will actually want to get rid of this sort of stuff because they see them as a nuisance. The reality is we just have to get a little more creative because aquatic ecosystems are more productive. And so we're just actually having to move up that productivity scale and figure out how to work with these guys because they're actually our best friends. We're in an abnormally high rainfall year this year. And apparently last year was also abnormally high in this region. But we can go very long durations of time without enormous amounts of rain. And so these guys actually take the spikes and the troughs and they create level opportunities so that we have water during the dry and wet seasons, uh, which is why it's so beneficial to work with them. And yeah, they may flood some pastures and they may um, prevent us from building certain types of infrastructure from time to time, but we'll figure out a way to work around them. And that's one of the reasons I bought this property was that I wanted to figure out how regenerative ag can actually work with the beavers themselves. So we'll keep making videos on this. We'll show the progress of these guys over here. And uh, let's hope that they create an incredible amount of uh, aquatic opportunity on this property. Thanks so much guys, we'll see you in the next video.